All the bullets that we dodging Hide the bones in the garden Never beg for a pardon Cash in before the house rules Never break from the ground rules Got too high off our own fumes We keep playing with fire I'm Tom Bowers with Bowers Group, LLC. And I'm Justice Hall from C Products Defense, makers of Duramag. And we're gonna talk about 350 Legend today. We're gonna to talk about the Verse 375 and their excellent new magazines. Really excited to work with you on this and uh, have a little fun together and get to meet each other and uh, check out your new line yeah. of mags for the 350 Legend. So that's what's great about the Duramag brand. It's really just bringing it all together and saying, this is what we're doing. You know, we, every single year, we're constantly pushing forward. Every single month, we're pushing forward with new technologies and, you know, new manufacturing processes that we've developed. So these are, you know, this is a product that deserves to have its own name. So for a lot of the people watching this, probably already familiar with 350 Legend as mm -hmm. a whole. And if they already have a 350 Legend, more than likely, they're already familiar with Duramag and all the technology that we've put in, all the work that we've done, and how we've essentially cornered this market and provided the awesome? best product possible yeah. as quick as possible and with the volume required. <laughs> For the uninitiated, with the Duramag 350 Legend magazines, the, line, the fives, the tens, the new 20s, yeah, they're gonna get a very specific you know, advanced geometry follower, our rib design, our body design, they're gonna get our robotic welding and our post and hole technology to you know, lock the magazine together and quality control it right off the bat from the tool. They're getting a very specific purpose-built 350 Legend magazine. This isn't a 556 magazine conned over, or copied over to do 350 Legend. It's not a 300 blackout magazine. This is the 350 Legend magazine. It is a specific product, and I really like, as it's an American manufacturer, I really like reading Made in the USA on, on a good product. Like That's that. really important to us. All of our tooling, all of our materials, everything we do is sourced here in the US. Quality that you can feel out of, like we talked about, a product that is considered an affordable luxury. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is a high quality item that I didn't have to spend extra money on. No. You just love it all that much more. Yeah. And and that's the way that we try to, you know, it's live a, every day. It's and a do fantastic every day. value. I think the same thing about our stuff. The misconception about how things are actually produced. Mm. When you make things that are purpose built, like yeah. our 350 Legend magazines, yeah. like this doesn't come off of the 556 tooling. It's its own separate tooling. Everything is very specific. Yeah, it's not just a five, five, six. Horribly spring. expensive progressive dies, and people don't know that. You know, yeah. so it's, these aren't. This isn't something you push a button and it falls out the other end of the machine done like people think right. CNC works too. With all that being said, you know, the people watching this that already have a 350, they know us. But I get constantly inundated with calls, and they're saying. I want to suppress this thing. And for God's sake, what can am I going to put on it? How am I going to suppress this thing? So how exactly is the three, the Verse 375 the best choice for 350 Legend? It's a Verse 375. We, it's different enough, we gave it, it, gave it its own model name. Um, you can shoot anything that will fit through the bore through this, just like uh, with our Dreadnought. Uh, it's also, both of, both of them have titanium stacks. They both take the Verse Stap system. Mm -hmm. uh, they both have the new external machining to differentiate them from our old cans. Uh, so they're slightly lighter um, due to that. They look a little cooler. We have shot this thing on everything from 375 elephant rifles to 375 Lapua. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I've not shot this on anything it wasn't hearing safe on. Yeah. Okay. Actually sounds great on 308s. 
Really? Uh, so yeah, if you have any like 308 bolt yeah, guns or something, chuck them on there and you'll really enjoy it. It's it's extremely good on that. <laughs> um, now you put it on a bad enough host, I'm sure that it's out there. Yeah. Um, but like, you can put this on even very short. I believe our, our shortest 300 blackouts on a five and a half or six inch kind of length. Yeah. It's very short. The can is longer than the barrel for <laughs> sure. That's definitely very safe still. We've got about half the gas mm -hmm. for the nine, so it's, it's, it's easier to get a really spectacular suppression out of it. Well, that goes back to, like we talked about earlier, is finesse. You mm -hmm. know, we both build a product that is about finesse, not force. Right. So the first thing that I noticed right off the bat with the first 375 is that it has a, a nice, big, fat, outside diameter mm -hmm. and then I looked on the inside and it's got a an incredible amount of air volume mm -hmm. you said that it has four baffles in there it's got yeah. a huge blast chamber so this is all blast chamber and that's very close to half the can is empty and then you've got four baffles in that space yeah but it sounds fantastic so what do you know about the 350 Legend cartridge as it is? Basically, the things that are in, of interest to, to most of my clients is we do have a lot of clientele that are in the straight wall case states. But people want a better power factor for humane kills on their game. Um, and the it's neat because I love medium and big bore stuff and we're good enough at the suppression game to actually make really great suppressors for that. Yeah, designing <laughs> a suppressor that doesn't depend on the ammunition to have subsonic availability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we come out here, we don't bring anything but supersonic ammo. That's all we shoot. And it's very realistic because if somebody's shooting hogs with a 458, I want them to use supersonic ammo. Right. I saw Todd Huey do a pretty similar video about 350 Legends specifically, too. Oh, really? It's a new round, and I'm just thankful that you know, we have a high-end round that's for hunting that has a generic full metal jacket right off the bat that's really the same price of 5.56. Yeah. So it's inexpensive that is to shoot. Nice. Yeah. And reloaders are having a great time with it because they can load it even cheaper. Mm -hmm. And they're getting like 20 cents a round. So, I mean, I think all around it's it's a win-win for everybody. But, um, you know, at least, you know, we've got quality mags. I'm excited that you're mags. making mags for <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> That's the thing, too, is when we started the project, there wasn't anybody making the mags. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, there and isn't. it's kind of critical. Yeah, Somebody a needs bit. to be making <laughs> a really good magazine for all these new guns. Yeah, there still isn't a manufacturer making an actual dedicated 350 magazine except for us. And okay. that's what's been obviously so great for us about that. Uh, but I mean, right off the bat, you know, we see really great hunting performance out of 350. And the great thing, like you said, it opens up hunting restrictions for guys in straight walls. I remember states. now his complaint was that it didn't have big enough magazines <laughs> and now you've got the 20s, yeah, yeah. brother. Nice. He will be happy about that. Oh, he, he definitely will. He will be very happy about that. Maybe we're working on Could, bigger capacity. I don't know. I would I, hope maybe so. Maybe we are. <laughs> what I see from our customers, our clients, the companies that we work with, and just what I know about you know, a wide variety of ammunition. Mm -hmm. I like this round because it has really good support from all the major ammunition manufacturers. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, hell, it's even got subsonic on the way. I've seen, you know, guys making their own bullets, own castings, mm -hmm. making big subsonic loads. Winchester is working on a 260 something grain subsonic that I think is gonna be that really could be cool. actually kind of cool. I think it's gonna be yeah. really cool. But the great thing about it is it's giving guys rifle performance out of a straight walled cartridge that isn't shattering shoulders and breaking mm. clavicles and just yeah. wearing you out yeah. and it's affordable got some black market moments body with cold hair crimes no one gets away with 